Welcome back to Maths with Mrs J. We're ready now to start talking about our log laws. Now, just like we have index laws, we have the equivalent log laws. These are very easy to remember if you remember what I said about logs. A log is basically an index, all right? This one here, if I want to have a rule for the log of capital M cap times capital N to base A, I'm multiplying powers, aren't I? If I'm multiplying powers, thinking back to our index laws, what are you doing to the indices? You are adding them, aren't you? So this is log of M to base A plus log of N to base A. Remember, you're adding the indices when you're multiplying the powers. This one is equivalent to A to the X times A to the Y equals A to the X plus Y or M and N, whatever you want, version you want to use of it. This one here, I'm dividing powers. When I divide powers with the same base, what do I do to the indices? Thinking back to our index laws, if I was dividing powers of the same base, what do I do to the indices? I subtract them, correct. So we're gonna get log of M to base A minus log of N to base A. Remember, a log is really an index. This one here is the log of a power, which is really like an extension of this first one here and the equivalent here is like this when you multiply your indices if you've got a power of a power you're going to get multiply by the index so if you have have a power there you can actually bring that right out the front of your logarithm and multiply it. Let's do some examples. Some of these examples you can do in multiple different ways. We're just going to do them in one way. Um, it's just a matter of getting used to working with it and not getting uh, caught up in the fact that they are logarithms instead of indices. All right, let's just check first of all, do we have the same base? Yes, we do. We're adding logs with the same base. So using our first rule, this rule here, works both ways. You can either split it up like this or go back the other way. We're gonna go back the other way. If we're adding logs with the same base, we're going to multiply the powers. So this will be log of 125 to base five, which is log of 5 cubed to base 5, which is just 3. We're saying, what do I raise 5 to to give me 5 cubed? If you want to, you can set it out using this rule and say, well, let's bring that 3 right out the front because we have a power. And then log of anything to its same base is just 1. So that answer is just 3. Let's do a slightly more complicated example where we want to simplify. So say we have log of x to base a plus log of y to base a minus log of z to base a. Those of you who haven't seen me write a z before, I always write it like that so it doesn't get confused with a two. This is nice and easy. We've got the same base with all of these. If we're adding, we're going to be multiplying the powers. When we're subtracting, we're going to be dividing. So all you need to do here is anything that's adding is going to get multiplied in your numerator and anything that is um, being subtracted as a log is going to be divided. You can put that in brackets if you so desire. Let's do one more example that's a little bit more fiddly. So say I had something like two log three uh, plus log 16 uh, minus two log of six on five. All right, that is a little bit of a mess, isn't it, as it is. We don't really want to just 
pop that into our calculator. We want to get as an exact an answer as we can. Okay, what are we going to do? Well, first thing we need to think about is our powers and any numbers out the front. 16 is two to the four, isn't it? So that might come in handy. Um, and also these numbers out the front can come in as indices. I would tend to write everything as powers of prime. So I would come in and say log of three squared plus log of two to the fourth. So I'm just converting anything to powers of primes and I'm bringing any numbers out the front in as, an, as a power. Minus log of, now we're going to square this, six is two by three. Five of course is just five and we're gonna square that. All right, when we put it all together, we're going to be multiplying these two and we're going to be dividing by this. So we're going to have three squared times two to the fourth, dividing by this. So we're going to divide by a five squared and we're going to in fact, sorry, we're going to divide by our two squared and our three squared and we're actually going to multiply by that five squared because we're dividing by a fraction. All right, what's going to happen? Uh, the three squareds go, the two squared and two squared is two squared. So we're going to end up with log of four times 25, which is 100. Log of 100, remember, if there's nothing written, it's base 10. What do you raise 10 to to give you 100? You raise it to the two. I apologise if that one was a bit messy there. I didn't leave quite enough space. We'll do quite a few more examples in our next video.